There's a study by Heck et al. in 2001 published in Java. It was a five-day safety training. So they did a bit of teaching of the students about safe play in the classroom. And then they arranged some reinforcers at the class-wide level for reducing overall rates of particular equipment misuse. And their effects were all right. There was a decrease in equipment misuse, although then when they do the follow-up and they're no longer maintaining those contingencies, we see behavior kind of return closer to baseline level. And then there's some other work not published in Java, but published in a pediatric psychology journal in 2006 by Schwebel et al. And they looked at changing teacher behavior. So essentially promoting enhanced supervision at recess. Now they didn't measure child behavior, but the assumption is that if we improve where teachers are, so they reduce teachers talking to each other at recess and looked at their proximity to students. And then they also had teachers delivering stamps to students based basically on a DRO type schedule. So if students were playing safely and they essentially caught them playing safely, then they'd deliver a hand stamp.